Tonight on Nightline, Sugar Smackdown, the latest targets in the war on obesity, supersized sodas and giant juices, as New York City's mayor proposes a controversial new ban on sugary drinks over 16 ounces. Could your town be next? And the sweet sound of a child's giggle could be a sign of a rare brain disease that's no laughing matter. Tonight, meet the doctors racing to find a life-saving cure without a single stitch. From the global resources of ABC News, with Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and Bill Weir in New York City, this is Nightline, June 1st, 2012. Nightline continues from New York City with Cynthia McFadden. For the parents you're about to meet, the sound of their child's laughter is an alarm bell, filling them with dread and fear because their giggle fits are actually the uncontrollable symptoms of a very rare brain disease. Tonight, a few doctors with a revolutionary treatment are determined to change that. Here is ABC's Deborah Roberts. Adorable. Priceless. For any parent, it's a treasured and joyous sound, their child's laughter. <laughs> but for a rare number of children, laughter can signal a heartbreaking future. The giggling when he was young was such an endearing type of a giggle <laughs> until we realized he was giggling at inappropriate times. Nine-year-old Keegan Dysert's parents, Robin and Chris, say the mysterious giggle began when he was just a toddler. You thought what? He's in his own little world. He's enjoying himself. He's a cow. What's wrong with giggling? <laughs> Something was wrong. A neurologist said Keegan's bizarre laughter wasn't funny at all, but potentially dangerous. He was having gelastic seizures. Well, I couldn't understand how they could call these seizures. He's not convulsing. He's not on the floor like everybody thinks of a seizure. Keegan was diagnosed with a form of epilepsy called hypothalamic harmatoma. He's not alone. In Toronto, seven-year-old Matteo Rocha is hit by laughing seizures up to six times a day. MRI scans reveal the cause for both boys, a small, non-cancerous lesion buried deep inside their brains. No, don't do that. Now, for two families, it's a race against time to find a cure, because untreated, the laughing seizures can cause long-term brain damage. For years, the only hope was invasive, high-risk brain surgery, where the skull is opened and the lesion surgically removed. At Texas Children's Hospital, Dr. Angus Wilfong and Dr. Daniel Curry have developed a dramatic new way to cure epilepsy in patients like Keegan, without a drop of blood or a single stitch. So this tiny, tiny little plastic straw goes right through the top of his head? Yes, it gets guided through the brain tissue and into this lesion. A laser beam to destroy the lesion and those dangerous giggles. So now Mateo and his parents, Karen and Paolo, have come to Houston for this new surgery, hoping for a miracle. To help her scared little boy understand how his life is about to change, Karen gives him a Yoda with a lifesaber. Remember we talked about the light? It's all in the laser. Are you going to shine it? I'm going to shine a light on it, and it's going to stop making your seizures. Mateo is taken to the MRI. Super Time to go to sleep. Super good, baby. Super duper good. And say goodbye. Moments later, doctors carefully attach a frame around Mateo's head to begin his MRI. For hours, they scan his brain using the cage around his head as a reference to pinpoint their exact trajectory to the lesion. But I don't think we have to go any further than no, this. I don't want to go any further than this. If doctors miscalculate, Mateo could hemorrhage or wake up with brain damage. From the MRI, he's wheeled to the operating room. Any concerns? No. We all agree? It's go time. Mateo's head is secured in place. Following computer coordinates, Dr. Curry meticulously adjusts and aligns his frame. And like a carpenter in a wood shop, begins drilling a tiny hole the size of a pencil into Mateo's skull. A laser catheter is inserted down to the lesion, but are they in the right place? Mateo winds his way back into the MRI. It's hard to believe that this is brain surgery. That's right. In real time, doctors discover they are right on target. The cord connected to the seven-year-old skull is hooked up to a laser machine, then fired up. 
that orange glow, heat destroying Mateo's lesion. We're finished. His epilepsy's gone. It's emotional. I'm choked up. And uh, it's gonna be a special moment to share that with the folks. You got it? Thanks, sir. It's gone. Oh, and it's all right. It's so good. He's okay? Mm -hmm. no. Everything went perfect. <gasps> A lifetime of misery is just erased in a minute. Yes. And Dr. Curry admits he had help from a friend. I think he's how I got there. He's clearly the force. Utter relief. Cannot even describe how happy I am. You're really happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Today, two months later, the strange case of giggling solved. That's a real laugh. Keegan Dysart, the first epilepsy patient with the rare disorder treated by laser surgery, is also seizure-free. Robin and I were in the kitchen, and then we hear this laughter. And Robin and I just kind of tensed up and froze. And we walked around into the living room, and he was laughing, like really laughing, at the TV show and at appropriate times. And I think Robin and I just sat there and went in tears for about five, ten minutes because this was the first time we'd heard him laugh. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts.